Hello everyone, in this video I will deal with the hexadecimal number system. So in this video I will be covering uh, the counting of hexadecimal numbers, hexadecimal to binary, binary to hexadecimal, decimal to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to decimal and also the decimal, uh, this hexadecimal to octal and octal to hexadecimal. Okay, now let us start with the uh, basics of the hexadecimal number system. You know, for any number system, okay, uh, the base is R. Okay, so suppose the base is R. So, uh, here this base R for decimal, it will be 10. For binary, it will be 2. For octal, it will be 8. Okay, then for hexadecimal number, we will be considering it as H. R is considered as H in the hexadecimal number system. Okay, hexadecimal H, H. Okay, so now what happens is R H. Okay, hexadecimal means it is base 16. Base 16. So if the base is 16, if R is equal to 16, what will be the maximum uh, number that can be allowed? That will be 0 to R minus 1 I can count. Okay, 0 to R minus 1. So it was 0 to 1 or that is 0 and 1 in binary. It was 0 to 9 in decimal. It was 0 to 7 in octal. Now for this it will be 0 to 16 minus 1 that is 0 to 15 in hexadecimal. 0 to 15. Okay, then we know for decimal we were counting from 0 to 9 and for octal we were taking 0 to 7 and for binary it was 0 to 1. So these all were one digit. 0 to 9 is only one digit. But here you can see from 10 to 15 we have two digits where 0 and 1 both are already used here. 0, 1, 2, 3 everything is used till 9. Okay, so till 15 all the digits are being used in the single values. So now what uh, uh, now what we do is to represent it with the single numerical we will be representing it with the English alphabets okay that is single value so we will start with the A we will start with the English alphabets that is from A so this A next we will go give B this we will give C this we will be giving D this will be giving E and this one we will be giving F so 0 to 9 it is single numerical Okay, now from 10 to 15 also, now we are representing it with a single value, single value, not two digits, single value. So that's why we went to the alphabets in the hexadecimal system. Okay, so you understood 0 to 15, base will be H, that is nothing but 16. Okay, and now we will be having from 0 to F, that is in the hexadecimal number system. So now you can see here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then immediately A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So now how can we represent the next, uh, next numbers in the hexadecimal? So that comes in the counting part. Okay. So now let us go for the counting in the hexadecimal. So 0 to F you can write. So next how we are going to perform the counting? So in the binary what we did we had only 0 and 1 so next what we did we, we, we were resetting it so it was reset to 0 and whatever the column values was there previous column we were incrementing it by 1 so again this is kept as it is this was incrementing 1 1 now again it was reset to 0 this one again it was reset and this column was incremented so this is this was how the counting was taking place in the binary so similarly we are going to count in the hexadecimal okay so 0 to f now this will be reset to 0 this previous column it had the value 0 now we will be adding 1 to this so now it will be 1 0 so till where i can do it so this one will be constant one column will be con uh, constant we will be incrementing this value so that is till f so now what will be the next value so this f after the maximum value is reached i can reset it to zero but here in the second column we have not reached the maximum limit of f so i will be incrementing it once again so two zero so it goes on till two f next again three zero to three f Till where we can con con uh, consider this? Till FF. 
Now both the columns have reached the maximum limits. So reset both to zero and now increment this column which is previously zero. Now it will be incremented to one. So this goes on till FFF. Once again it will be like one zero zero zero. This is how the counting takes place in the hexadecimal number system. Okay, so now we will see here hexadecimal to binary. So we are representing this hexadecimal with the four digits, four binary digits. But why we went to four binary digits? That I will explain you. Okay, so here you can consider decimal value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 till 15. Here this is 0, 1, 2, 3 till F. This is in hexadecimal. This is in decimal. Okay. So next what happened? I am taking 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and so on. After F, what will be the next? This is equivalent to 15. So F after F, I can't write 16. Okay. Because now what I will do, I will reset it to 0. So I will reset this to 0. I will come to the next column and it will become 10. So this is how the counting takes place. So now if I write the equivalent binary. Okay. So this is 0. I will write in binary 1. Next, this is reset to 0. I am incrementing the column 1, 1. Again, reset. This is reset. This is 1. So 1, 0 as it is, this 1. So now this is incrementing. This is incrementing. This is kept as it is. So 1, 1, 1. Next 0, 0, 0, 1. So like that 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is for 0, this is for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is for 15, F. Okay, after this what happens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 5 digits. But we are representing only from 0 to F, right? 0 to F in hexadecimal. So what is the last one? We require 4 binary digits for the 15. And here we have single, here we have two digits that I can make it four digits. If I append zeros previous to the values, that will not affect the value, right? So I can append zeros and I can make it equal into four digits. So what is this F represented as? It is one, 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 four binary digits. That's why we go for the four equivalent binary digits. Okay. See, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, 0, 0, 1, 0, it is nothing but 1, 0. That is equivalent. 0, 0, 1, 1. I can write it as 1, 1. No matter. It, it, it doesn't make any difference if I add zeros or append zeros before. Suppose if this is my MSB. Before MSB, if I'm appending zeros, it doesn't make any difference. But if I append ones, it will make the difference. So, I'm appending zeros now. So this is the equivalent binary representation for the hexadecimal. I saw this how we are going to do because I started with 0, 1. I started counting in binary also. Okay. And then I represented decimal, hexadecimal and the binary. Okay. So now let us see how to convert this. We have two questions. 1E3 and 1AC5.2F. I have to convert these hexadecimal numbers to equivalent binary numbers. How is it possible? So 1, E, 3. If you have this table ready, if you have this table ready, what I can do? I can directly convert this. So I will start with this value. What is this 1? 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. What is E? It is 1, 1, 1, 0. What is 3? It is 0, 0, 1, 1. This is your equivalent binary. What about this? 1AC5.2F. Okay. Now what I will do? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. A is 1, 0, 1, 0. C is, what is that? 1, 1, 0, 0, right? 1, 1, 0, 0. This is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now we have this hexadecimal point converted to equivalent binary point. Now start with this 2. 0010 1111. 
So this is the equivalent binary representation. For each digit, we are going to represent with a binary one. So this conversion is easy. So uh, whatever the number is, you can directly convert it to binary if you remember this table. Okay, so next. Binary to hexadecimal. This is also easy. Okay, how you are going to group it? I am telling you. What uh, If you are given with the binary digits, you have to group it like 4 bits. You have to group, uh, make a group of 4 bits. And from where you are going to start the grouping, that also I will tell you. Don't start from, see, suppose 1101010101100. I will start grouping from left. This is 4, this is 4, this is 4. So what is 1100 equivalent? From table you see, you will be getting C. What is 1010? Refer the table, you are going to get A. 1101, refer the table, you are going to get D. So this is DACH. DACH. So why are we going to group this? Like from left. From left, from right to left, why are we going to group? That also we will come to know. So now I am taking the second one. That is 1100101000110. So now group it from this left. Now we have the binary point. We have the binary point. So any shifting, any grouping should be done from the binary point. If it is... In the decimal part, that is this part, you have to group it from right to left. After the binary point, you have to group it from left to right. From left to right. This is the binary point. So this side and this side. Go this way, go this way. That is away from the binary point. Away from the binary point, start your grouping. So now I am again uh, doing the groups. This one. So what is this 0011? It is 3. What is 1011? It is B. What is 1100? It is C. Now convert this to hexadecimal point. Group this. It is 2. So C, B, 3.2H. Okay. Now let us take the next one. 101110011.001. 1, so now it is really very interesting. See, you have to start it from the left to right. I said away from the binary point. Group of 4, group of 4, this is only 2, this is only 3. So now I can group this easily. 3, this is E. So what about this? 1, 0. I have told you after this MSB, if I am adding zeros or appending zeros, it doesn't make any difference. So now I will add two zeros and I will make it a group of four. So this is two. Here also, after this, if I am adding zero, okay, in the fr fraction part, if I am adding zeros after this point, it doesn't make any difference. So this is two. But I can't add zeros here, somewhere here. I can't add that. That will be wrong. Here I can add zeros. After this, I can add zeros. If you have something limit, this is the MSV, this is the LSV. Here I can add zeros, here I can add zeros. Okay, you can't insert zeros in between. Away you can, in between, no, you can't add. So now this is 2E3.2H. So this is binary to hexadecimal. This is also done. So, if I give any binary number, you can convert it to hexadecimal. If I give any hexadecimal to you, you will be now comfortable in converting hexadecimal to binary. Right? So, likewise, we will go for the next one that is decimal to hexadecimal. How are you going to convert this? We have already seen decimal to binary conversion. Right? Binary conversion. Uh, if you had something 1014 binary, uh, this one, to convert it to binary, you are continuously dividing by 2, right? And if you had the fractional part, you were considering this point to 3 and you were continuously multiplying by 2. The remaining thing was multiplied by 2. So here it was multiplication, here it was division, continuously by 2, right? 
So now what happens? You have to con uh, continuously divide it by 16 because this is the base 16. Okay, base 16. So now 1014 divided by 16. You can write 16, 6 and 96. Here it is 54. 16, uh, 4 is a 4, uh, 16, 4 is a 64. No, 16, 3 is a 48. Remainder is 6. Once again take 16. 16, 4 is a 64. Not possible. 16, 3 is a 48. 48, 15 is remainder. So this 15 I can represent, I represent as F in the hexadecimal. So this will be 3FE. And here you know you are going to follow bottom to top approach when you are dividing. So that will be 3FEH. So now you have 0.23. This is a fractional part. How you are going to do? You are going to continuously multiply by 16. So I am taking my calcium and I am going to do it first. 0.23 into 16, this is 3.68. What you were doing? You were taking this fractional part as it is. Whatever the decimal part you are going to get, you were transferring here, 3. And the remaining 0.68 you were carrying here. And again you were multiplying by 16. So that is 10.88. Here once again this part I am taking out. And the remaining portion I am again taking here. And I'm multiplying. And this is 14.08. So take this 14 again this side. And this is 0 0.08. Multiply by 16. 1.28. Take this one outside. And this process continues. So this is 3. 10 is A. 14 is E. And this is 1. So here you know in the fractional part for the equivalent hexadecimal you, you have to go from top to bottom because this is the same procedure that we have used in the binary top to bottom. Here it is bottom to top and here it is top to bottom. So this is and carry this zero as it is here point. Now write 3a e1. Okay, so now you can see this is 1014.23. It is same as this one. So I can write it as 3FE and fractional part that is the hexadecimal point and write 3AE1 and it goes on. This is my H. So if you are getting only 0.23, you know how to do. Zero point is carried as it is and whatever you are going to get here, you are going to write it from top to bottom. But if you are going to get a decimal value, point decimal point and the fractional part then first solve this fractional part continuously divided by 16 write down the value next to take only fractional part that is 0.23 and then combine it this is the decimal to hexadecimal now comes hexadecimal to decimal you know converting des uh, binary to decimal so suppose you have 100 zero, zero, you were you were multiplying with the weights so in this case, if uh, you imagine you have a uh, binary point here. So left to binary points, it was positive powers and right to binary points, it was negative powers. So now here it should start from 0 to 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power of 3. You are multiplying it. That is a weights. You have to multiply the digit with its weights. Likewise, here you are going to multiply with the weights. Imagine hexadecimal point here. So left you will be having positive powers and that will be in the ascending one. 16 to 16 to the power 3. So multiply it. 2 into 16 cube plus C. What is C equivalent to? It is 12. So 12 into 16 square plus 9 into 16 plus what is B? B is 11, right? 11419. 11419. This is your decimal equivalent. So this is 2 into 16 cube plus 12 into 16 square plus 9 into 16 plus 11 into 1. Understood, right? How to do? Multiply, add. Multiply, add. Now in this question, you got the hexadecimal point. 
Now I said after the hexadecimal points, it will be negative powers. Okay, so now I will take it EBF1.A2. So what is E? It is 14. What is B? It is 11. What is F? It is 15. This is 1. What is A? It is 10. First convert it. Uh, instead of E, what you know, 14, right? So now multiply with the weights. Left to hexadecimal positive powers. So you write 14, you write 11, 15, 1. So from here you start 16, 1, 16 square, 16 cube. Now A, that is 10 and here I am writing 2. Now you know it is negative powers. This way we have to go. Okay, so now find out the value 14 into 16 cube plus 11 into 16 square plus 15 into 16 plus 1 plus 10 divided by 16 plus 1 divided by sorry 2 into 2 into 16 to the power minus 2 plus 2 divided by 16 square. This is 60401.63281. Okay, 60401.63281. Okay, so this is the conversion. Remember, point left you will be having increasing power of 16. Here you will be having to the power of minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 and so on. Okay. So next comes hexadecimal to octal. So best thing to convert hexadecimal to octal is convert the hexadecimal to binary then binary to octal. Hexadecimal means equivalent 4 binary digits. 4 binary bits. For octal it is 3. Grouping of 3. Hexadecimal grouping of 4. So now I will take 2A5. Write 5. How will write? 0, 1, 0, 1. How will write A? 1, 0, 1, 0. How will you write 0? 0, 0, 1, 0. Now start again grouping from left. Sorry, right. Right to left. Always we are following this procedure. Okay? Because I am imagining a hexadecimal point in this, in this position. So now group it into 3 bits. Group it into 3 bits. 3 bits. 3 bits. So this is 5, this is 4, this is 2, this is 1. So it is 1, 2, 4, 5 octal. So now we have A4 B 0.59 E. So write it B. B is 1, 0, 1, 1. This is 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 1, 0, 1, 0. This is. And this point I will carry as it is 0101, 1001, 1110. Now I have to group it in 3. That is from the left, right? From this left, I am grouping 3, 3. So this is 3, this is 3, this is 3. Here to the right I am going. Okay, this is 1, right? 3. 3, 3. So now write it. 0, 1, 1 is 3. 0, 0, 1 is 1. 0, 0, 1 is 1. 1, 0, 1 is 5. Next we have 0, 1, 0, 1. That is 5. Sorry, 0, 1, 0 it is 2. 1, 1, 0 is 6. 0, 1, 1 is 3. 1, 1, 0 is 6. So now I can write it as 5, 1, 1, 3, 0. 2, 6, 3, 6 octal. Understood, right? First, Write the equivalent four binary dig uh, digits, equivalent binary of the hexadecimal. Then group it, group it into three bits. If you have the binary point here, here it is away from the binary point. Away from the binary point, start grouping it. Next, octal to hexadecimal. Again, the same thing, convert it to binary. Five, four, five, six. But now it is octal, so it is group of three bits. So one is six is one one zero. This is one zero one. This is 100, zero zero. this is 101. One. Now again start grouping from right to left, but it is of 4 bits. 
four bits. So now write the equivalent hexadecimal. One 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 zero is E. This is two. One zero one one is B. So this is B two E H. Take this twelve point zero five. Once again write this zero one zero. This is zero zero one. Now carry this point. Now zero zero zero. This is one zero one. Now again group it away from the binary. Four four. Why I am taking this is see here now we are not able to group it into four bits. Now what you are going to do? You can add the zeros to the left here and to the right here. It doesn't make any difference. So this is a. This is one. This binary point it is carried as it is. This is four. This is zero. So this is a point one four h. So this is how you are going to perform the conversion from one number system to another number system. Okay. So remember one thing: if you have something like this a b point f, okay, it is nothing but it is equivalent to eleven. This is equivalent to ten. This is equivalent to fifteen. Okay. So this is all about the hexadecimal number system.